Factory. Day. Simon East stares at Hunter. This was the confrontation Simon had been waiting for all his life. I said it, and I meant it. I want out. I've been in this business, in this family, and I love you all. But this isn't for me. I'm not like you. I can't be like you. But, uh, you can't come out. I'm out because I says I'm out. His face grows taut with... Um... With... Tautness. As he peers through the room looking for his... Shit. His... Hi! Good choice. So, um, you're a jogger. So, you're a clerk. Simon levels his gun at Hunter and says, Simon says, stop. Simon says... Hey, you! Just a sec. Um, Simon says... Hey, hey, freeze! Simon says, freeze. Huh. That's good. Give me the shit. The popcorn? Ow! The money! It, the register's over there. W whatever. Here, give me the shit. Fill it up. No, no, don't, don't do, don't do that. There's a hole in the bag. What? The money's on the floor. Shit. Pick it up. You know, this is a bad idea. Shut up. May I? No. Get a new bag? No, no, I'll do that. I'm just getting a bag. A bag or a piece? What does it look like? I got born to lose, tattooed on my head? Turn around. Frank? Frank. Hey, we went to high school together. Larry Kowalnowski. Wait a second. You're, you're, you're Larry Kowalnowski. I, I, I used to used to cheat off your, your typing tests in school. The one and only. Larry, man, hey. It's been a while. Do you remember my uncle? Uncle, no, I don't think so. Uh, Wait a, wait a minute. You're, uh, I know, you're, you're Eli Kalinowski's nephew. The one and only. Oh, my God. I told you. Um, oh, my God. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God!
Too good for the family, huh? So why'd you call it the first sign of trouble? I didn't call you. I called the cops. One of our people at the police department brought him here. Can I help it if I look after my nephew? Uncle Eli? This guy was trying to hurt Mr. you. Mr. Kolonowski, I'm really sorry. I, I, I have no idea. Please, please don't get me. He's a too big crook. Let him down. I got a reputation to uphold. Uncle Eli! <laughs> <laughs> You said let him down. <laughs> it gives it kind of a meaty flavor. <laughs> Stop this foolish dream of yours. Join the family business. I want to write screenplays. Hey, look at this. Would you eat this tomato? Of course you wouldn't. Nobody would eat a piece of shit like this. You can buy these tomatoes for nothing. They look bad. But you add a little sugar and vinegar and salt, and you cook them a while. You get something beautiful. Yeah. Everybody needs ketchup, mayonnaise, relish. Something to make the food sing. Hey, boss. Yeah. What about mustard? What? What about... Yeah, that's, that's great, Uncle Eli. I realize how much the business means to you. But I really have a lot of work to do. Hey, it's okay. But don't try my patience. Because soon, you're going to have to start doing something respectable. Something to earn a decent wage. Like join the family business. Lance, you've got to get me something. I'm trying. I'm trying. Nobody's interested in your stuff. Not movie producers, anyway. Well, how hard are you trying? Look, Mouth, I'm the best freaking literary agent in Pittsburgh. If anybody can get your work, I can. What about my mob script? I sent it. And nobody's interested? Look, kid, you gotta give it some time. It's a long, hard struggle. You don't understand. My uncle is going to... Hey, uh, please, not your uncle. What? No. I gotta make something of myself so he'll believe in me. Please, I'll take anything. No, well, there is something. What? There's a guy who runs a theater company in New York. But it's a screenplay. So reformat it. I mean, you got great characters. It'll make a great play. But it's an action movie. If we can get it produced as a play first and people like it, maybe we can make it a movie later. Hmm? That's all I've got, kid. Excuse me, I'm looking for Sal Pepper. Excuse me. What do you want? I'm looking for Sal Pepper. I'm a writer. You look like a clerk. Is he here or not? Yes, this trap is not bad. Oh, we adore. You are so talented. Okay, now. But there's someone here. There's someone here. We all still love you. Yes, we do. We do. OK. Kiss, kiss. Asshole. <laughs> Hi, I'm Larry Kolonowski. Oh, goody. The furnace is downstairs. You read my script. Lance Boyle sent it? Larry. Oh, Larry. <laughs> oh, I just loved your script. Really? 
it's wonderful. The ketchup queen. Uh, king. The ketchup king. King, yes. Yeah. Why, when I read how that Simon character finally came out of the mob, why, the tears just wouldn't stop. Really? Yes. Oh, we're so excited to be working on your project. What first attracted you to theater? Uh, well, to be honest, I originally wrote this for the screen. Oh, don't you just love a good movie? Yeah, I, I've been a big movie fan since uh, Kubrick, Spielberg, James Cameron, Ridley Scott. Alien is one of my favorite movies of all time. You know, it's such a privilege to meet a new writer. You're going to love working with our theater. We always put the writer first. Thanks. In fact, our founder, Dippy Pendrix, God rest his soul, he wrote in the theater's mission statement that we would never open a new play without the writer's blessing. Do you have some time? Sure. Oh, goody. We're going to do a dress rehearsal of a short play by a Cherry Flambe. It starts now if you'd like to see the theater. I'm alone. 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 Mm, no. Hitting's too good for you. Today, it's the treatment. Does Daddy like ketchup? No. No. Daddy wants mustard. And has Daddy been a good boy? Oh, yes. Daddy's a good boy. Oh, Daddy's a good boy. <laughs> Daddy's a good boy. <laughs> oh, what? What? Come in. What is it? I've got the quarterly reports. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not good. Mustard sales are down. Those ketchup bastards. What kind of a condiment is ketchup anyway? It's sweet, sickly, not for real men. Mm. Hell, if it's so great, why is it so hard to get out of the bottle? What is it anyway? Ketchup? Catsup? One day, the world will come back to the one true condiment. Mustard? Ha! Ah. What's the plan? Sir, I suggest we try to increase sales by diversifying. What are you saying? Relish. It goes good with mustard, right on a frank, good on a burger. Adds quite a spark to Indian food. Relish. What about those bastards at Kalinowski? They make relish. For now. Come in, my little Wiener Schnitzel. My God. What happened to this man? They dropped me in a boiling vat of ketchup, sir. Oh, 
Bastards! I feel much better now. This is Frank McGillicuddy. He was the one who held up the video store where the ketchup nephew works. He has offered us his services. He has been inside their factory. I, I, I grabbed this when I ra ran it, man. You know, I thought somebody could use it to, uh, I mean, you know. What? We could use it to get even with those tomato freaks? <laughs> <laughs> this is Eli's itinerary. Hotel room, travel info down to the last minute for the condiment convention in New York. When is it? July 1st. We'll know his every move. What's more important, he'll be unprotected. We'll hit them in New York. Finally, we'll eliminate... Those tomato-eating bastards. No one will ever poison a hot dog, a hamburger, or ice cream. Again, with ketchup. To the Maven Corporation. To mustard. And its rightful place as the king of the tenements. To mustard. To, to mustard. mustard. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. <laughs> I'm alone. I'm alone. <clears throat> She's alone. Oh, but seriously, wasn't that wondrous? The alienation, the depth. Depth? Oh. Bravo! 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 Oh, you're so lucky you can still eat a burger. My cholesterol is high, so my doctor makes me eat salads. The bitch. Uh, waiter, yes, sir. would you bring me some more dressing, please? The ranch, sir? Yes, the uh, extra creamy kind. Right away, sir. Oh, just bring me the bottle. Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Talk directors. Who's here on the bar? This man, he has the most unusual emanation coming from him. Ah, uh, he's been here since last night. Perhaps we should awaken him. Nah, probably just shit himself. says here his name is uh, Pedro Byers. I say, is that name supposed to mean something to me? What, do you live in a cave? Pedro Byers is one of the most famous theater directors on Broadway. You're saying this motley fellow is a theater director? I've always pondered trying my hand at the elusive theater game. What are your qualifications? Other than bartending? When I was in Her Majesty's service, I was the most sought-after technical director British television had ever known. Then why are you bartending? Not important. Ah, the theater. It's a three-walled stage. Move a chap up. Move a chap down. Move a chap left. Move a chap right. That, for lack of a better term, is the whole bowl of wax. Be a sporting chap. 
hello. Oh, uh, hello. Yes, sir. I, uh, tend Mr. Byers' needs. Goody, we've got his assistant. Just a moment. <clears throat> Pedro Byers did Arthur Miller, Tennessee Williams, Mylon Stitt. And he's been out of the loop for years, but they say he's ready to make another go. It's a real long shot, but your play is so special that I thought this we This might... is Pedro Byers. So my assistant tells me. So we've never met. Uh-huh. And you sure you absolutely have no idea what I look like. But you are quite aware of my superb reputation. You were present at my production of Hamlet. <laughs> I'd love to. Not a problem in the least. No, not at all. I'll meet you in New York. We've got him. Let's celebrate. Oh, waiter, bring me a hot fudge. No. Bring me three hot five Sundays. Oh! can leave while I talk to little Eli. What if someone tries to get at you? What are we doing? We're starting auditions. Already? So many of our stock actors are here right now. I thought you'd like to know some of them. Do I have to use them? Oh, of of course, not silly. It's just a convenient way for you to get to meet some of my faves. <laughs> Hi. I'm ready. And what will you be performing? A recently discovered Lost Soliloquy by William Shakespeare. A piece from Beefcake Reagan's little known masterpiece, Captain Rectum, Little Men, and Big Boys. I didn't really bring anything. Was I supposed to? As I! But alas, anon, mine stumped legume doth not rise from its barren nest. It is just the hardness with doth the man I stroke. Stroke! Oh, bloody stroke! Oh, deep. Can you not hear them speak? They spread and call to sink sharpened teeth into that filthy rod of flesh, knowing the pleasure I'd get to see it ripped away like an abducted child. My devout courgette, filled with sweet, creamy nectar, alas, what the hell's a courgette? It's what the English call a zucchini. Once more into the breach for the glory of England. Anon, could you give me a shout, uh, just so I can see if your voice can carry? I've seen things that should never be seen. Pierce me! Oh.
Hello? Marvin, this is Hans. The cuckoo is in the clock. What? The dog barks at noon 30. Damn it, Hans. What are you talking about? I am watching the ketchup kink. Oh, that's nice. Eli is in his room now. Should I kill them with the thermonuclear device as planned? We never planned a thermonuclear device. Oops. Was I thinking out loud again? Just stick close. Keep a tail on that dog. That Shakespearean trained actor, wasn't he just wonderful? Yeah, just great. You definitely should consider him for your lead. I'll do that. Bathroom's all yours. Have I got a surprise for you? All freshened up? Um, Pep, why are you... Oh my god. Don't you like me? No, I mean... Yes, I, I mean... I mean... Oh. <laughs> a dried up old prune like myself. I should know better than to chase after such tender vittles. Damn right you... Wait a minute. It's not your age. I'm not gay. Oh, I see. What do you see? You're among friends now. There are no secrets here. Here? In the theater. We understand. What? You'll come out when you're ready. I'm not coming out. <laughs> Heard that before. I'm not coming out because there's nothing to come out of. I'm not gay. No rush. Though you really are such a cutie. Oh, yeah. Ta-ta. This is Lance Boyle, greatest literary agent in Western Pennsylvania speaking. Lance, get me out of this. Larry, is that you? Boyle, get me out of this. They're all Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts? Oh, I'm sorry. Gosh, I didn't know that you were, you know, homophobic. I'm not. Well, well you are in the theater, you know. I'm not in the... Boyle, I have nothing against gay people. Just people who are nuts. Hey, 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 hey! A little attitude adjustment here. You're rice cakes, you know that? You keep that up, and I assure you, you will never work in th this town again. Pittsburgh? If you're such a great agent, how come you're not in L.A.? My wife wanted to move here. You've been divorced for five years. Okay, calm down. Now, you are obviously upset. Upset? Yeah, look, I'm coming up to New York for the opening. Can you hold on that long? <sighs> Do you really think I can get a movie deal out of this? Hey, it's still the best shot you've got. Hell, that's the only shot you've got. Oh, shit. Hey, Lair. Hop in. Want some lo mein? How about a fry? What are you doing here, Uncle Eli? What do you mean, what am I doing here? You know what day it is? Oh, shit. Condiment Expo. Yeah, we never miss it. Oh, that chick. She has legs up to her ass. Oh. Well, what about the Expo? I, you know, I, I don't think I can make it. 
What? You're too good for us? You know, Larry, you gotta start earning a living at something respectable. I've been thinking, no more working at a video store for you. But it gives me time to write. You can stay in New York for the play. You're entitled to that much. But after that, you stop embarrassing us and come back to the family. But no, you got it. I'm sorry, you've had enough time. Now you got it. You mean, if this play isn't a success, I have to join the family business, or you're gonna... You're gonna what? Dip me? Dip you? <laughs> no, 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 Larry. You're my sister's child. I'd never hurt one of my own. Of course I wouldn't. Because you would never, never put me in that position. Someday you're gonna be the best ketchup man yet. You're gonna make me proud. See you at the expo, right? Yeah, maybe I'll stop by tomorrow. Now you're talking. That's the kid that burst from my sister's loins. Hey, Larry. Hi. Hi. I'm Larry. What you doing with that big bottle of ketchup? Finally, we get to eliminate the Red Menace. That's so. Bastards! This is only the beginning. First we knock off Eli, take over Relish, and before you know it, we'll move our headquarters to the Paris of Western Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh? Yes. Welcome to the convention. What company are you with? Maven Mustard Corporation. Mustard? I'm the CEO. Ever had a chief executive officer before? No, what's it like? Imagine these babies caressing your body, dancing across. I like feces. What? Feces. Long and soft and brown. Feces. You're into feces? Mm-hmm. Finally. You're in sicker than I am. Get that girl's number. As you can see, our new graphite condom slides on easily. Our condom, made with Gaydar, is guaranteed not to break. We call it the back door buddy. Buy a case now and we'll throw in an anal intruder for half price. Free samples? Did you say free? Oh, okay, yes. Blue rattan chase lounge. Perfect for the apartment. Love a seat. Love a seat. Perfect for those late evenings. Oh. <laughs> Dinette said. Perfect for the couples. Oh. Sal? Sal. I was 
Just wondering if we're still on for that play. Oh, of course, Poo Poo, of course. You don't think I'd let a little thing like rejection keep me from my work, do you? The show must go on. You're not upset? Don't you believe all that old stereotype stuff? We're not all super sensitive in the theater. I'm glad. Yeah, this is a nice sofa. Where's the love seat? Sal, Sal, come on. Hey, let me buy you a hot fudge sundae. <sighs> oh, goody. Bullets. I'm an important director, lad. Just because they forgot to pick up the airfare doesn't mean they're going to forget the car. Ah, what the hell. I've only been on a plane for what? 27 hours? I can wait. That's the spirit. Keep your pecker up. In England, it just means keep your chin up. Well, this ain't England, asshole. Savages. Oh, and we have to have a sit-down with our designer. Oh, so many things. Excuse so... me. Oh, shit. Oh. Nice suits. No, Sal, you don't understand. You are coming to meet us. We are going to talk. Oh, Pooh. That isn't nice. And I thought you were cute. Will you listen? These guys are dangerous. Oh, nonsense. And what is with that accent? <laughs> oh, oh, look at the poster. He doesn't like my accent. Hey, Hans, that's not called for. He was just poking the funnies at my accent. Because it's silly, you Nazi. How come just because I've got a German accent, everyone thinks I'm a Nazi? Huh. I've got nothing against the Jews. I mean, they can be cheap and such. No offense, Jacob. I'm not cheap. You are a little. I am not, you anti-Semitic bastard. Let's just stick to the point, yeah? Fine, but I'm not cheap. <whistles> What's this whistling all about? Wah, da, pinky panthers. We protect this theater from queer-hating scum like you. Now get out of here before we got to fuck you up. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. What do you think of that? That is a bunch of oriental crap. You racist Nazi bastard. German. Nazi. I warned you, now you gotta pay the price. He was trained. In stage combat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you Nazi. Come on, men. We have got no more business here. <laughs> hey, you think I'm cheap? Why you always get a pee when the check comes? Ooh. Okay, Nazi bastard. Now I'm very perturbed. Ha, lucky for us, the Pinky Panda uniform is made of Geda. It's a bird proof. Ha 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 ha. What you gonna do now, you bad, bad Nazi? My right! Oh, oh my god! Oh, somebody get my sewing kit! Hans, oh. have you lost your mind? 
Tell Eli to get out of the relish business or he's next, you poofters. Nazi, Nazi, Nazi! Are they your friends from Pittsburgh? Worse. What? New Jersey. Oh my god. I was supposed to pick up our director from Newark Airport. Oh my, he'll be so miffed. Oh. Oh, can I please have an aspirin? We really thought those silly poofters a thing of tree, eh, Joe? Told you, stop that! Oh, relax, have some fun. You too, Frank. Marvin says when the nephew gets his little play up, they'll get his uncle. How do you know his uncle would be there? Stop pointing out plot holes. Yeah, we could use some girls, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's call that number in the phone book. Yeah. Excuse me, Pat. We're looking for Sal Pepper. So? Pedro Bayer. This is my assistant. So? I'm a director. I look like a bartender. And how are things progressing? Hi, Sal. Oh, Larry, I'd like you to meet the great Pedro Baez. It's nice to meet you. Yes, I've almost finished your script. Almost? Needs quite a lot of tweaking yet. Tweaking? But I can cover these massive flaws through incredible direction. Flaws? The metaphors. What metaphors? Coming out of the mob, for instance. That's not a metaphor, that's what happens. What? What did you tell him? Now, now, Mr. Kolonowski. You can never have too many coming out plays, especially good ones. It's not a coming out play. He hasn't come out yet. Now, now, chap. There's no rush. I never really came out either. Huh? I mean, I'm straight. I just dabble. Bye. How nice. <laughs> Quiet. More fun for everyone. It's not a coming out play. Got it? It's a play about coming out, I mean, getting out of the mob. The mob. The mob. Got it? Got it? Well, you are the writer, chap. Thank you. Ben? Guten Morgen. Good party last night, yeah? Yeah, hon, sure was. Even you got a girl, once we paid her enough. That was nice. Marvin's taking us to breakfast. Are you coming? I gotta take care of something. Hello? You have reached the Candy Condom Company. Please listen carefully to the following menu. Push one for our flavored condom line. Push two for the Pemadom. Push three for new products. You have selected new products. Press one if you'd like to buy a whale skin condom. The condom specifically designed for a black man's needs. Push three if you'd like to buy a lifetime supply of anal lubricant. Come on. Push for if you'd like a subscription to Condom World magazine. <sighs> you have reached an invalid extension. Please hold. A sales associate will be with you shortly.
All right then, chaps. What I want you to do is feel the scene flowing through you. Now, let's hear that tone. Oh. Oh. What are they doing? Oh. Warm-ups, lad. Oh. Haven't you ever been in a theater before? Oh. Were you born in a cave? Ah, hi there, Miss Oita. Hi, Kong. How's the eye? Oh, it's hearing very nicely. Look. What do you think my new plastic eye? Almost like new. Oh. <clears throat> Let's just keep the eye patch on, shall we? Oops, sorry. Okay, Panda, let's continue. Oh. Uh, so, how are you coming with the script? Very well, Chuck, very well. The ending, do you think that we're gonna have- I haven't quite got to the ending, my boy, but I'll be done soon. Louder, gents, louder! But how can you be directing if you haven't even finished the script? The great Greek dramatic critic, Aristotle, once said, it's not the ending that counts. He did? Okay, gents, body warm-ups! Look, I really don't... Have you seen the staff actors? Yeah. Fabulous, aren't they? Fabulous? I'm using all of them. You are. Especially that tiny girl. So much mm, vitality. You can't even hear her. But my boy, that's where a director's touch comes in. And I get through with her. She'll bark like a dog for me. <laughs> So to speak, <gasps> stage. It's exciting just being here. You go up, you go down. You go left, you go right. So much better than film. Hi. I read your play. Really? What did you think? It was so moving. I especially love the part when he finally gets out of the mob. Great metaphor. So, where's your pal Frank? I think he got stuck with something. <laughs> Welcome to Condemnation Tech Support. This is Jennifer speaking. How Jennifer? may I help you? Oh, thank God. Listen. I used one of your new Gator condoms last night. The back door, buddy? Yeah, it's one. Anyway, I can't get it off. Well, have you tried pulling? Of course I tried pulling. Uh-huh. Well? And it's still on now? Yes. Okay, have you followed the instructions and tried the WD-40 and a carrot peeler? What the hell are you talking about? Hang on while I talk to my supervisor. Wait, wait, wait! Hello? Well? I talked to my supervisor. He wants to know if the condom's been exposed to any acidic substances. I don't know. I mean, like what? Like orange juice. <laughs> orange juice? Vinegar? Tomato sauce? Anything like that? Hello? Sir? Sir, are you there? What, what would that do? The Gator condom, model number 793B, also known as the Backdoor Buddy, has some known development issues. <laughs> issues? Yes, you see, if the condom is exposed to any acids, a layer of super glue-like adhesive forms on the inside. But we're working on a solution to that problem right now. It should be ready next summer. <laughs> the 
still don't understand. I drank a lot of beer last night. Oh, we don't sell beer. I gotta pee. Oh, I see what you're concerned about. Not to worry. The condom can hold up to 600 PSI of pressure, so feel free to urinate with it on. Yes, I know. Those critics can be so cruel. All they care about is crass commercialism. If you try to do a play that has any... Uh, just a sec. Larry, I'm on the phone. Hang up. Oh, poo. Hello. Yes, I know it was rude. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I said... I'll... He'll call you back. Now, what is so important? This director, he's changing everything. He's adapting. What about the final scene? Oh, so that's what has you in such a tizzy. Mr. Byer said that scene must be highly symbolic. Tomatoes squirting at each other speak to the deeper subconscious yearnings. It's supposed to be a gunfight. But what about the universal truth? What? The gunfight. What universal desire does it symbolize? It symbolizes man's universal desire not to get hit by bullets. You got something to say? Hey, not me. It's been five weeks, and he hasn't even finished the script. Well, Aristotle said... Aristotle never said anything about not finishing a script. But I will admit that is a fresh approach. Fresh? Oh, poo. Larry, you've got to trust Mr. Byers. You've got to trust us. Your play is going to be great. Why, he's even adding a musical number. You know, I'm sick of this whole thing. You guys don't give a damn about anything except your... No. That's it. I don't care if I never get a movie made. I quit. Oh, it's opening night. You know we cannot open without the writer. What to do? What to do? Oh. <laughs> I'm not gay. Heard that before. Like you saw a ghost. What's up with you? Oh, Christ, you know who that's going to be. Oh, God, no. It's not what it looks like. I should have known you'd be here. Come on, woman. We're going. You better leave me alone. Get out of now here. Don't now don't make me come over there. Bastard! Ooh, that's it. I warned you. I'm gonna teach you a lesson, you two time at home. Stay away from me. Man, bitch. I'm gonna sick my Rottweilers on you. Get out of here. God damn it. Get over here, woman. No, bitch. Leave me alone. I'll teach you. Oh, oh no. Get out of here. Yeah, get my pot pot ready. Ah! Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Hey, boss, when are we going back to Pittsburgh? When my nephew gets done wasting time with his show tonight. <laughs> Don't worry, boss. Once he gets a dozen teeth knocked out of his mouth, he'll come around. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I wonder what happened to that mutt. I mean, them putzes from Parsippany. They weren't at the expo. That's why mustard sucks. <laughs> <laughs> And we ain't in Pittsburgh. Did I ask? Hey, nice day. What is this? You don't eat this shit. Got it? Shoot him. Yeah! <laughs> hey, look, it's red. If it was yellow, you'd be in trouble. <laughs> Ketchup bottle? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I must have looked pretty stupid, huh? Oh, think nothing of it. It was cute. Really? I'm Cheryl. But my friends call me Shirley. Larry Kolonowski. So, you from around here? Bensonhurst. Thanks, Charles. So, you're not from town? Pittsburgh. Wait, where's that, Jersey? It's the Paris of Western Pennsylvania. Sounds nice. So, what's a guy from the Paris of Western Pennsylvania doing here? Aside from going nuts? I don't even know. Following your dreams? Well, most guys, when they come to New York, come to follow their dreams. Or for sex. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So what are you doing in a bar at 3 in the afternoon? Well, my dream isn't exactly working out. Actually, I'm gonna finish this beer, go back to my hotel, pack, get on the first bus back to Pittsburgh. Oh, don't give up. My brother, he dreamed of opening up his own bar for years. It's nice that somebody got what he wanted. What, him? <laughs> no, get out of town. <laughs> no, he only works here. By the time he saves up enough money, he'll be like 102. He ain't the swiftest bird in the flock, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, that's very uplifting. I should finish packing. Hey, hey. Just because he's a schnook don't mean you got to be one. You got to follow your heart. You want to see a movie with me or something? Dead now. Oh, you still alive? I shoot you again. Now you're dead. I'll be back. Right after my enema. Now that's entertainment. Boy, he's so old, but he's still got all those muscles. Someday, someday I've got to make a movie like that. You will. You just got to hold on to your dreams. You know, I didn't say this before, but a guy like me from Pittsburgh, there's no chance. My future's in... Never mind. I should get back and pack. Hey, wait. If there's a way for you to get a shot at your dreams, no matter how small, you got to take it. I don't know. So, you, uh, want to come back to my place? Oh, hurry up, hurry up. It's opening night, opening night. Sorry if I started a bit of a row with your writer. Sensitive bloke, isn't he? Oh, yes, I know. What are we going to do? I shouldn't worry. He'll turn up. I remember one time I directed a piece on the London stage, and all the actors went down to the pub 
came back to the performance completely soused. Oh, I expect he's engaged in something more wholesome than that. <clears throat> Whoa. Hold on. I'm just gonna slip into something a little more comfortable. Uh, you know, I, I really like you, but normally I don't like to get involved so quickly. I could change. Hurry up, hurry up. The show starts in 20 minutes. Hurry up. Oh, yeah, baby. Come and get me. What's that? Oh, a crab. Oh, I got a powder for that. You know, maybe this isn't such a good idea. What are you worried about? I've had a blood test. How long ago? Like... Nine years, but the burning went away right away. Burning? And the sores is all gone. Sores? I got some extra penicillin if you're worried. Well, it went away after I took a few pills, so I saved the rest for next time. Do you have a condom? I got a backdoor buddy, but I don't usually use those for missionary style. Oh, you want to get kinky, okay. It's, it's open. Sure, but they're so expensive, so I stick them in the dishwasher after. It's pretty smart, huh? You what? Well, it's better than throwing them out. And those condoms is strong, too. <laughs> Stop this foolish dream of yours. Come on, baby. You gotta come over here and get it if you want it. Oh yeah, baby. Come and get me. Look, kid, you gotta give it some time. It's a long, hard struggle. You gonna come over here or what? I'm a writer. I look like a clerk. Come on, baby. It's wonderful. Come on, baby. Ketchup queen, kid. Yeah. Yeah. Someday you're gonna be the best ketchup king yet. Come on, baby. And it's still the best shot you've got. That's no, the only shot you've got. Are you gonna come over here or not? I don't know if I can. There's so much to sacrifice. So much risk. You gotta ask yourself, how badly do you want it? Really bad. Then you gotta do anything you can to get it. <laughs> Stop this foolish dream of yours. Dream of yours. Dream of yours. You're right. Oh, yes. I can't wait. I know exactly what I have to do. I'm going to sell out. I knew it. I knew you'd be back. Oh, I'm so happy. Well, I figured I might as well see it through, for better or worse. Oh, for better. For better. Then we have your blessing. You have my blessing. Goody. Oh, I met your agent. He's in the theater. Oh, and this one coming up here now. Hi, Miss Simon. Um, this is Larry Kolonoski. He's the writer of The Ketchup King. This is Simone Simon. She's the chief theater critic for the New York Journal. It's nice to meet you. Same. Sorry I'm late. So, Sal, what's in store for tonight? Yet another three hours of self-indulgent masturbatory crap which I can tear apart in my column tomorrow. Sal thinks the audience is there just to pay the bills. Hope your play is better. You are such a kidder. <laughs> uh, we reserved your usual box seat for you. Great. Someday that bitch is going to step in front of a fast-moving bus, and I hope I am there to see it. Like one ticket, please. Got our last one. That'll be fifty dollars. Fifty. 
for a play that I'm directing. What? Oh, never mind. I'll get it all back in the lawsuit. What? Uh, never mind. Sorry, we're all sold out. <laughs> I think a couple down front just opened up. This is our seat. I have seat 1A. Get out of here. I said it and I mean it, I want out. I've been in this business, in this family, and I love you all, but I'm not like you. This isn't for me. I can't be like you. But, uh, you can't come out. I'm out because I says I'm out. No! Yeah, there it was. After all those years. Look at them. It's just inspiring. My family mm. and the secrets. And they move up, oh, and they move down. Everybody has a family. Everybody has secrets. Not like <laughs> Want to go out back and uh, <clears throat> smoke a joint? Normal guy, right? It's the yeah. sign of a good director to be able to relax you know, during a performance. Wouldn't you say? But he has a good heart. Hell, he'd be the best <laughs> Whatever. I could ask for. If it wasn't for the fact that he's also a major crime boss. Me, of course, I want nothing to do with all that. Oh, shit. Pretty cool the way I kick those pathetic little theater people, yeah? Stop taking credit for the stunt doubles. Frank. How much beer did you drink? So, what's this? plan your entire future depends on. Well, we will stand in the wings and wait for Eli to take his seat. Then we will move in and shoot him. That's your plan? What? You don't like it? Actually, it's Frank's plan. My plan? Ow! Dick! This is a 7963D high-powered medium-range sniper rifle in a portable case. Precision German engineering. A crowd gun, eh? Well, how's it go together? Well, the directions must be in here someplace. Out, 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 out of the mob. 
I don't have the sauciness for organized crime. I'd rather just redecorate and fetch all the time. He wants out. No doubt I'm out of the mob. Why? I don't care to murder and rob. Oh. I prefer a black male who takes me out for cocktails where I can dance. Did you say dance? In the bottle, tap me in the bottom, and I come out. Join the family. Uh uh uh. Drugs, gambling. Well, product sampling. No, I am different than you. Ay, ay, ay. I have a brain and a soul inside my flesh. Vegetable, no brain, no soul. Be a vegetable. I'm alone. Be a vegetable. Yeah, I'm an engineering a vegetable. Get you, you tomato eating bastard. A tomato's not a vegetable. It's actually a fruit. That mustard bastard, get him! Uncle Eli? Come and get me. Catch him. Creep. Ah! Ah! you you took my ride! Ah! Ah! bastard! Ah! Ah! Talking to me. The bloody right I am. Oh,
go. Sweetie, where are the bags? The boys will grab them. I thought we'd go straight to the set and see my nephew. Oh, no, no. I'm feeling kind of willy nilly. Oh. Why don't I just go to the hotel? That way I can sit by the pool and be all toasty when you come home. Okay. Kiss kiss. Mm. I said it and I mean it. I want out. I've been in this business, in this family, and I love you all. But this isn't for me. I'm not like you. I can't be like you. But you can't come out. I'm out. Because I says I'm out. No! Cut. And print. Great work, Kong. Take five, we'll come back for your close up. Sure thing, boy. Hey, Uncle Eli! How's my boy? I'm okay. <laughs> How's the movie going? Couldn't be better. Boy, it's good to see you. How's business? It'll take care of itself. Look, let's not talk about business for now. Want to get some coffee? Look at you, big shot movie director. I gotta say, I used to think that this dream of yours about working in Hollywood was... I'm proud of you. Thanks, Uncle Eli. You know, this whole experience, I learned a thing or two about myself. So I hear. Not only that. <laughs> I want to make a new life for myself. Try something besides, you know, there's more to life than ketchup. What's that, Uncle? There's theater. Cut. Sit down. I'm out because I said the mouth. No! Sit down, Daddy and Mama, too. I've got something to say to you. I'm going to tell you about the way I feel inside. Guys! I'm in hot face up. Everybody in the neighborhood It's such a tight family It feels so good I know you love me And you're gonna make me feel at home Is it on now? Come and have a party <laughs> In our backyard To show everybody who we are Faster, faster and Spread the family <laughs> values Of our own All right, all right. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this shit. That's what life is about. It's wonderful. The ketchup queen. Uh, king. The ketchup. King. King, yes, yes. Why, when I read how that Simon character finally came out of the mob, why, the tears just wouldn't stop. Really? Yes. I oh, was so excited to be working on your project. What first attracted you to theater? Uh, well, to be honest, I originally wrote this for the screen. Oh, don't you just love a good movie? Yeah, I, I've been a big movie fan since uh, Kubrick, Spielberg, James Cameron, Ridley Scott. Alien is one of my favorite movies of all time. You know, it's such a privilege to meet a new writer. You're going to love working with our theater. We always put the writer first. Thanks. In fact, our founder, Dippy Pendrix, God rest his soul, he wrote in the theater's mission statement that we would never open a new play without the writer's blessing. Do you have some time? Sure. Oh, goody. We're going to do a dress rehearsal of a short play by a Cherry Flambe. It starts now if you'd like to see the theater. Thank <laughs> you.
I'm alone. 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 Mm, no. Hitting's too good for you. Today, it's the treatment. Does Daddy like catch me? Finally. Woman is sicker than I am. Get that girl's number. As you can see, our new graph by condom slides on easily. Our condom, made with Gaydar, is guaranteed not to break. We call it the back door buddy. Buy a case now and we'll throw in an anal intruder for half price. Free samples? Did you say free? Oh, okay, yes. Blue rattan chase lounge. Perfect for the apartment. Love a seat. Love scene. Perfect for those late evenings. Oh. <laughs> Dinette said. Perfect for the couples. Oh. Sal? Sal. I was just wondering if we're still on for that play. Well, of course, Poo Poo, of course. Of course. You don't think I'd let a little thing like rejection keep me from my work, do you? The show must go on. You're not upset? Don't you believe all that old stereotype stuff? We're not all super sensitive in the theater. I'm glad. Yeah, this is a nice sofa. Where's the love seat? Oh! Sal, <laughs> Sal, come on. Hey, let me buy you a hot fudge sundae. <sighs> oh, goody. Bullets. I'm an important director, lad. Just because they forgot to pick up the airfare doesn't mean they're going to forget the car. What the hell? I've only been on a plane for what? 27 hours? I can wait. That's the spirit. Keep your pecker up. In England, it just means keep your chin up. Well, this ain't England, asshole. Savages. Oh, and we have to have a sit down. She has legs up to her ass. Well, what about the expo? I, you know, I, I don't think I can make it. What? You're too good for us. You know, Larry, you got to start earning a living at something respectable. I've been thinking, no more working at a video store for you. But it gives me time to write. You can stay in New York for the play. You're entitled to that much. But after that, you stop embarrassing us and come back to the family. But no, you got it. I'm sorry, you've had enough time. Now you gotta. You mean, if this play isn't a success, 
I have to join the family business, or you're gonna... You're gonna what? Dip me? Dip you? <laughs> no, 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 Larry. You're my sister's child. I'd never hurt one of my own. Of course I wouldn't. Because you would never, never put me in that position. Someday you're going to be the best ketchup man yet. You're going to make me proud. See you at the expo, right? Yeah, maybe I'll stop by tomorrow. Now you're talking. That's the kid that burst from my sister's loins. Hey, Larry. Hi. Hi. I'm Larry. What you doing with that big bottle of ketchup? Finally, we get to eliminate the Red Menace. That's so. Bastards! This is only the beginning. First we knock off Eli, take over Relish, and before you know it, we'll move our headquarters to the Paris of Western Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh? Yes! Welcome to the convention. What company are you with? Maven Mustard Corporation. Mustard? Oh, I expect he's engaged in something more wholesome than that. <clears throat> Whoa. Hold on. I'm just gonna slip into something a little more comfortable. Uh, you know, I, I really like you, but normally I don't like to get involved so quickly. I could change. Hurry up, hurry up, the show starts in 20 minutes, hurry up! Oh yeah, baby, come and get me. What's that? Oh, a crab! Oh, I got a powder for that. You know, maybe this isn't such a good idea. What are you worried about? I've had a blood test. How long ago? Like... Nine years, but the burning went away right away. Burning? And the sores is all gone. Sores? I got some extra penicillin if you're worried. Well, it went away after I took a few pills, so I saved the rest for next time. Do you have a condom? I got a backdoor buddy, but I don't usually use those for missionary style. Oh, you want to get kinky, okay. It's, it's open. Sure, but they're so expensive, so I stick them in the dishwasher after. It's pretty smart, huh? You what? Oh, well, it's better than throwing them out. And those condoms is strong, too. <laughs> Stop this foolish dream of yours. Come on, baby. You gotta come over here and get it if you want it. Oh yeah, baby. Come and get me. Look, kid, you gotta give it some time. It's a long, hard struggle. You gonna come over here or what? I'm a writer. You look like a clerk. Come on, baby. It's wonderful. Come on, baby. Ketchup queen, kid. Yeah. Someday you're gonna be the best ketchup king yet. Come on, baby. And it's still the best shot you've got. Well, it's the only shot you've got. Are you gonna come over here or not? I don't know if I can. There's so much to sacrifice. So much risk. You gotta ask yourself, how badly do you want it? Really bad. 
Then you gotta do anything you can to get it. <laughs> Stop this foolish dream of yours. Dream of yours. Dream of yours. You're right. Oh, yes. I can't wait. I know exactly what I have to do. Loved your script. Really? <laughs> it's wonderful. The ketchup queen. Uh, king. The ketchup king. King, yes. Yeah. Why, when I read how that Simon character finally came out of the mob, why, the tears just wouldn't stop. Really? Yes. I oh, was so excited to be working on your project. What first attracted you to theater? Uh, well, to be honest, I originally wrote this for the screen. Oh, don't you just love a good movie? Yeah, I, I've been a big movie fan since uh, Kubrick, Spielberg, James Cameron, Ridley Scott. Alien is one of my favorite movies of all time. You know, it's such a privilege to meet a new writer. You're going to love working with our theater. We always put the writer first. Thanks. In fact, our founder, Dippy Pendrix, God rest his soul, he wrote in the theater's mission statement that we would never open a new play without the writer's blessing. Do you have some time? Sure. Oh, goody. We're going to do a dress rehearsal of a short play by a Cherry Flambe. It starts now if you'd like to see the theater. I'm alone. 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 Mm, no. Hitting's too good for you. Today, it's the treatment. <sighs> Our condo, model number 793B, also known as the backdoor buddy, has some known development issues. <laughs> issues? Yes, you see, if the condom is exposed to any acids, a layer of super glue-like adhesive forms on the inside. But we're working on a solution to that problem right now. It should be ready next summer. <laughs> you don't understand. I drank a lot of beer last night. Oh, we don't sell beer. I gotta pee. Oh, I see what you're concerned about. Not to worry. The condom can hold up to 600 PSI of pressure, so feel free to urinate with it on. Yes, I know. Those critics can be so cruel. All they care about is crass commercialism. If you try to do a play that has any... Uh, just a sec. Larry, I'm on the phone. Hang up. Oh, poo. Hello. Yes, I know it was rude. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I said... He'll call you back. 
Now, what is so important? This director, he's changing everything. He's adapting. What about the final scene? Oh, so that's what has you in such a tizzy. Mr. Byers said that scene must be highly symbolic. Tomatoes squirting at each other speak to the deeper subconscious yearnings. It's supposed to be a gunfight. But what about the universal truth? What? The gunfight. What universal desire does it symbolize? It symbolizes man's universal desire not to get hit by bullets. You got something to say? Hey, not me. It's been five weeks, and he hasn't even finished the script. Well, Aristotle said... Aristotle never said anything about not finishing a script. But I will admit that is a fresh approach. Fresh? Oh, poo. Larry, you've got to trust Mr. Byers. You've got to trust us. Your play is going to be great. Why, he's even adding a musical number. You know, I'm sick of this whole thing. You guys don't give a damn about any... Too good for the family, huh? So why'd you call it the first sign of trouble? I didn't call you, I called the cops. One of our people at the police department brought him here. Can I help it if I look after my nephew? Uncle Eli? This guy was trying to hurt Mr. you. Mr. Kolonofsky, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I I, ha I have no idea. I have no... Please, please don't. He's a too big crook. Let him down. I got a reputation to uphold. Uncle Eli. <laughs> <laughs> you said let him down. It's a kind of a meaty flavor. <laughs> Stop this foolish dream of yours. Join the family business. I want to write screenplay. Hey, look at this. Would you eat this tomato? Of course you wouldn't. Nobody would eat a piece of shit like this. You can buy these tomatoes for nothing. They look bad. But you add a little sugar and vinegar salt, and you cook them a while, you get something beautiful. Yeah. Everybody needs ketchup, mayonnaise, relish, something to make the food sing. Hey, boss. Yeah. What about mustard? What? What about... Yeah, that's, that's great, Uncle Eli. I realize how much the business means to you, but I really have a lot of work to do. Hey, it's okay, but don't try my patience, because soon you're going to have to start doing something respectable, something to earn a decent wage, like join the family business. Be like ketchup in the bottle, tap me in the bottom and I come out. and a soul inside my flesh. Be a vegetable, no brain, no soul. Be a vegetable. 
That mustard bastard! Get him! Uncle Eli? Come and get me. Catch him. Creep. Ah! Ah! It's you! You took my ride! Catch ah! bastard! Ah! Ah! Talking to me. The bloody right I am. Oh, Those bastards at Kalinowski. They make relish. For now. Come in, my little Wiener Schnitzel. My God. What happened to this man? They dropped me in a boiling vat of ketchup, sir. Those bastards. I feel much better now. This is Frank McGillicuddy. He was the one who held up the video store where the ketchup nephew works. He has offered us his services. He has been inside their factory. I, I, I grabbed this when I ran, ran out, man. You know, I thought somebody could use it to, uh, I mean, you know. What? We could use it to get even with those tomato freaks? <laughs> This is Eli's itinerary. Hotel room, travel info down to the last minute for the condiment convention in New York. When is it? July 1st. We'll know his every move. What's more important, he'll be unprotected. We'll hit them in New York. Finally, we'll eliminate those tomato-eating bastards. No one will ever poison a hot dog, a hamburger, or ice cream, again with ketchup, to the Maven Corporation, to mustard, and its rightful place as the king of the Kenements. To mustard! To, to mustard! mustard. Oh. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm alone. <laughs> I'm alone. I'm alone. <clears throat> She's alone. Oh, but seriously. Wasn't that wondrous? The alienation. The depth. Depth? Oh. Bravo! 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 Oh, 
Oh, you're so lucky, you can still eat a burger. My cholesterol is high, so my doctor makes me eat salads. The bitch. Oh, uh, waiter. Yes, sir. Would you bring me some more dressing, please? The ranch, sir? Yes, the, uh... I've always pondered trying my hand at the elusive theater game. What are your qualifications? Other than bartending? When I was in Her Majesty's service, I was the most sought-after technical director British television had ever known. Then why are you bartending? Not important. Ah, the theater. It's a three-walled stage. Move a chap up. Move a chap down. Move a chap left. Move a chap right. That, for lack of a better term, is the whole bowl of wax. Be a sporting chap. <clears throat> hello? Oh, uh, hello. Yes, sir. I, uh, tend Mr. Byers' needs. Goody, we've got his assistant. Just a moment. <clears throat> Pedro Byers did Arthur Miller, Tennessee Williams, Mylon Stitt, He's been out of the loop for years, but they say he's ready to make another go. It's a real long shot, but your play is so special that I thought this we might... is Pedro Byers. So my assistant tells me. So we've never met. Uh huh. And you're sure you absolutely have no idea what I look like? but you are quite aware of my superb reputation. You were present at my production of Hamlet. <laughs> I'd love to. Not a problem in the least. No, not at all. I'll meet you in New York. We've got him. Let's celebrate. Oh, waiter, bring me a hot fudge. No. Bring me three hot five Sundays. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You can leave. Sorry, we're all sold out. <laughs> I think a couple down front just opened up. This is our seat. I have seat 1A. <laughs> I said it and I mean it, I want out. I've been in this business, in this family, and I love you all, but I'm not like you. This isn't for me. I can't be like you. But, uh, you can't come out. I'm out because I says I'm out. No! Yeah, there it was. After all those years... Look at them. It's just inspiring. My family mm. and the secret mm, they move up? 
Oh, and they moved out. Everybody has a family. Everybody has secrets. Not like <laughs> Want to go out back and uh, <clears throat> smoke a joint? Normal guy, right? It's the sign of a good director to be able to relax during a performance. Wouldn't you say? But he has a good heart. Hell, he'd be the best <laughs> Whatever. guy I could ask for. If it wasn't for the fact that he's also a major crime boss. Me, of course, I want nothing to do with all that. Oh, shit. Pretty cool the way I kick those pathetic little theater people, yeah? Stop taking credit for the stunt doubles. Frank. How much beer did you drink? So, what's this plan? Hurry. You've got to trust Mr. Byers. You've got to trust us. Your play is going to be great. Why, he's even adding a musical number. You know, I'm sick of this whole thing. You guys don't give a damn about anything except your... No. That's it. I don't care if I never get a movie made. I quit. Oh. It's opening night. You know we cannot open without the writer. What to do? What to do? Oh. No rough. You can never have too many people out coming I'm not I mean I can't be then why did I oh shit now now sweetie did you have a bad dream whoa you look like you saw a ghost what's up with you oh Christ you know who that's going to be oh god no it's not what it looks like. I should have known you'd be here. Come on, woman. We're going. You better leave me alone. Get out of now here. Don't now don't make me come over there. Bastard! Ooh, that's it. I warned you. I'm going to teach you a lesson, you two time at home. Stay away from Man, me. Man, bitch. I'm going to sick my Rottweilers on you. Get out of here. God damn it. Get over here, woman. No, bitch. Leave me alone. I'll teach you. Oh, oh, no. Get out of here. Yeah, get my pop pot ready. <laughs>
Too good for the family, huh? So why'd you call it the first sign of trouble? I didn't call you. I called the cops. One of our people at the police department brought him here. Can I help it if I look after my nephew? Uncle Eli? This guy was trying to hurt Mr. you. Mr. Kolonofsky, <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I, I have no idea. I, please, please don't get me. He's a too big crook. Let him down. I got a reputation to uphold. Uncle Eli! <laughs> <laughs> You said let him down. <laughs> it gives it kind of a meaty flavor. <laughs> Stop this foolish dream of yours. Join the family business. I want to write screenplay. Hey, look at this. Would you eat this tomato? Of course you wouldn't. Nobody would eat a piece of shit like this. You can buy these tomatoes for nothing. They look bad. But you add a little sugar and vinegar and salt, and you cook them a while. You get something beautiful. Yeah. Everybody needs ketchup, mayonnaise, relish, something to make the food sing. Hey, boss. Yeah. What about mustard? What? What about... Yeah, that's, that's great, Uncle Eli. I realize how much the business means to you. But I really have a lot of work to do. Hey, it's okay. But don't try my patience. Because soon, you're going to have to start doing something respectable. Something to earn a decent wage. Like join the family business. Never open a new play without the writer's blessing. Do you have some time? Sure. Oh, goody. We're going to do a dress rehearsal of a short play by a cherry flambe. It starts now if you'd like to see the theater. I'm alone. 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 Mm, no. Hitting's too good for you. Today, it's the treatment. Does daddy like ketchup? No. No. Daddy wants mustard. And has Daddy been a good boy? Oh, yes. Daddy's a good boy. Oh, Daddy's a good boy. <laughs> Daddy's a good boy. Oh, what? What? Come in. What is it? I've got the quarterly reports. Not good. Mustard sales are down. Those ketchup bastards. What kind of a condiment is ketchup anyway? It's sweet, sickly, not for real men. Mm. Hell, if it's so great, 
Why is it so hard to get out of the bottle? What is it anyway? Ketchup? Catsup? One day, the world will come back to the one true condiment. Simon says, stop. Simon says... Hey, you. Just a sec. Um, Simon says... Hey, hey, freeze. Simon says freeze. Huh, that's good. Give me the shit. The popcorn? Ow! The money. It, the register's over there. W whatever. Here, give me the shit. Fill it up. Don't, 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 do, don't do that. There's a hole in the bag. What? The money's on the floor. Shit. Pick it up. You know, this is a bad idea. Shut up. May I? Yeah, no. Get a new bag? No, no, I'll do that. I'm just getting a bag. A bag or a piece? What does it look like? I got born to lose, tattooed on my head? Turn around. Frank? Frank, hey, we went to high school together. Larry Kolonoski. Wait a second, you, you, you're Larry Kolonoski. I, I, I used to used to cheat off your, your typing tests in school. The one and only. Larry, man, hey, it's been a while. Do you remember my uncle? Oh, no, I don't think so. Huh? Wait a, wait a minute. You're, uh, I know, you're, you're Eli Kalinowski's nephew. The one and only. Oh, my God. I told you. Um, oh, my God. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God! Oh, 
all you guys. Oh. Let's go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oof. Hey, you don't help him. Get going. Come on, out of here. We'd go straight to the set and see my nephew. Oh, no, I'm feeling kind of really nil. Aww. Why don't I just go to the hotel? That way I can sit by the pool and be all toasty when you come home. OK. Kiss kiss. Mm. I said it, and I mean it. I want out. I have bartending? When I was in Her Majesty's service, I was the most sought after technical director British television had ever known. Then why are you bartending? Not important. Ah, the theater. It's a three-walled stage. Move a chap up. Move a chap down. Move a chap left. Move a chap right. That, for lack of a better term, is the whole bowl of wax. Be a sporting chap. <clears throat> hello? Oh, uh, hello. Yes, sir. I, uh, Ted, Mr. Byers needs. Goody, we've got his assistant. Just a moment. <clears throat> Pedro Byers did Arthur Miller, Tennessee Williams, Mylon Stitt, He's been out of the loop for years, but they say he's ready to make another go. It's a real long shot, but your play is so special that I thought this we might... is Pedro Byers. So my assistant tells me. So we've never met. Uh huh. And you sure you absolutely have no idea what I look like? but you are quite aware of my superb reputation. You were present at my production of Hamlet. <laughs> I'd love to. Not a problem in the least. No, not at all. I'll meet you in New York. We've got him. Let's celebrate. Oh, waiter, bring me a hot fudge. No. Bring me three hot five Sundays. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You can leave while I talk to little Eli. What if someone tries to get at you? Mm. I'd like one ticket, please. Got our last one, that'll be fifty dollars. Fifty? For a play that I'm directing? What? Oh, never mind. I'll get it all back in the lawsuit. What? Uh, never mind.
sorry, we're all sold out. I think a couple down front just opened up. This is our seat. I have seat 1A. Get out of here. <laughs> I said it and I mean it, I want out. I've been in this business, in this family, and I love you all, but I'm not like you. This isn't for me. I can't be like you. But, uh, you can't come out. I'm out because I says I'm out. No! Yeah, there it was. After all those years. Look at them. It's just my inspiring. My family mm. and the secret mm, they move up, oh, and they move down. Everybody has a family. Everybody has secrets. Not like <laughs> Want to go out back and uh, <clears throat> smoke a joint? Normal guy, right? It's the sign of a good director to be able to relax during a performance. Wouldn't you say? But he has a good heart. Hell, he was the best <laughs> Whatever. guy I could ask for. If it wasn't for the fact that he's also a major crime boss. Me, of course, I want nothing to do with all that. <laughs> 